Lancaster Independent School District's L.C. Robertson Middle School is scheduled for replacement, with the new facility slated to open in the fall of 2020. Construction will begin in the fall of 2018, and the new facility will be located south of the existing building, incorporating the existing auditorium. This will allow the existing facility to remain open through the spring semester of 2020 before being demolished. The area occupied by the old building will be replaced with a community walking path and parking in front of the new middle school. Students and guests will enter the building through a secure vestibule directly into the three-story daylit student commons. The administration and reception are directly off the secure vestibule. The library anchors the academic wing, marking the gateway between the student commons and the STEM labs. From this space, students will enjoy views to the outdoor learning area, which is accessed from both the adjacent student commons and classroom area. Aquaponics and other STEM labs occupy the balance of the academic wing's first floor, along with spaces for special instruction and art. The upper two floors are arranged into six houses, or small learning communities, with science lab and lecture classrooms located in the center, and standard classrooms around the perimeter. Each will also have workrooms, collaboration, and breakout spaces. The cafeteria, fine arts, and athletics are located on the east side of the commons. Adjacent to the main entry is the cafeteria, which has large windows overlooking the parent drop-off and community park space. In addition to student dining, it will also serve as a community meeting center. At the heart of the school is the existing 1984 auditorium, which will be completely renovated and outfitted with new theater and lighting systems and finishes. The fine arts wing houses a band hall, choir room, and two dance studios, along with associated support spaces. Athletics will include gymnasium spaces, weight training, and locker rooms that will also serve as the campus's storm shelter. The front of the building has a cast stone colonnade with stepped detailing that mimics the detailing of the 1984 auditorium building. The three-story academic building is primarily a red brick blend with horizontal banding of the brown brick which matches the brick from the auditorium. The entry porch is raised and projected to match the scale of the curved colonnade and direct vehicles and pedestrians to the front door of the new school. The east portion of the colonnade is a covered porch providing shelter outside the cafeteria for students waiting to be picked up. The west and south sides of the academic tower continue with the red brick blend on a one-story gray brick base. The first story houses larger spaces such as technology labs and special instruction and has appropriately taller windows. The second and third stories show clusters of smaller square windows for each classroom. The outdoor learning area will have small rolling hills, built-in seating, trees, and an adjacent covered area. It will have access from the library, art room, commons, and corridor connecting the academic and athletic areas of the building. The design of this space will accommodate individual, small group, and classroom-sized gatherings as well as outdoor eating and pre-function area for events in the gym or auditorium. The locker room, gymnasiums, and fine arts support spaces flip the masonry pattern using the brown brick as the primary color with the red as the accent. This ties to the existing auditorium more directly and differentiates the public and extracurricular activity spaces from academic areas of the building. The new Elsie Robertson Middle School will adhere to sound construction practices and utilize materials, methods, and equipment of proven dependability. This new middle school will be economical to build, operate, and maintain, and it will be sustainable and fully accessible to those with special needs. Lancaster ISD's middle school students will enjoy the benefits of this exciting next generation learning environment for many years to come.